Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a kick flip on a fingerboard. Now, I would say probably one of the number one tricks that you're gonna see fingerboarders do is they're going to do a kick flip. And you probably clicked on this video because you want to learn how to kick flip. Now, I have a pretty big selection of boards and you can do kick flips on all the boards. I've done it on all of them before. We have a Tech Deck, we have a Tech Deck Performance Series, we have a Teak Tuning board, and then we have another one here. And then we have a G16 board. Uh, from Flatface. Now, I've done kickflips on all these boards. Um, I'll put a couple clips of me doing kickflips on all of these. In fact, I actually got uh, four kickflips in a row with all of these, which is pretty cool. But this is a most po one of the most popular tricks for good reason. And it's very simple and it looks super good. Now, starting off fingerboarding, I started off with a basic tech deck, which is what a lot of people probably are starting with. And you can kind of do it on a, on a tech deck, but it's just a little bit, it's a little bit hard because the board is so light and the grip tape is not that good. And you kind of want something to be a decent quality to do a better trick. Now, I just got this G16 board, Dynamic Trucks and Nail Pill Wheels. And this is by far my favorite board out of all of these. Now, I have not tried other boards, which they probably feel equally as nice, but you can do them on all these boards. So now that you have a good fingerboard down, it's time to get the tutorial started. So the number one trick you wanna have down is a basic ollie. Very basic trick, but it's gonna make this trick a lot easier to do in the long run and when it comes to just learning. Now, the ollie can sometimes be a little bit more difficult to do than a kickflip sometimes, and that's because there's more steps or stages till you land. So when you start, you have the beginning, the middle, and the end, and then you're landing. And if you control the board through all of those stages, it looks great. With a kickflip, it's kind of just one stage, and that's just the flick. It's kind of just one motion, and then just the landing. And if you have that motion down, it's going to make the rotation better. It's going to make your landing better. It's going to make your style look better. Now, you'll see a lot of tutorials where guys will say, you put your fingers here, and then you just slide them forward. Or you do the peace sign. Now, that can work for some people, but for me, it doesn't really work that well for me. And I don't know if it's because I have big fingers, or it's because my technique is just a little bit different. But I find when you get the board here, you flick your front finger forward, and it fully rotates the board, and then you get it. It's a lot easier to just flick your finger forward, plus you have a little bit more control, and you're not moving your fingers absolutely everywhere. It kind of just stays stationary. And it is really easy when you can get those small rotations down with just a simple motion as opposed to really sending it forward. The other thing is, is that it is really easy to do double flips with this method. And that is a very cool trick to do when you're doing a game of skate and fingerboarding. Sometimes I can get triples, but that's for another video. Those are pretty difficult to do. So the other thing you want to have is you want to kind of send the board forward as you're going up. That gives the board some downward force and it makes it go backwards to where it really magnetizes itself to your fingers, which is going to make you have really good control. If you also have good grip tape on your board, as opposed to the sandpaper grip, or even this whack job kind of grip. You wanna have some solid grip that just really sticks to your fingers. It's gonna allow you to have more control, it's gonna make landings easier, and it's gonna make the flick better. Now, the last thing about the kickflip is knowing when to drop your fingers. And this can be a little bit difficult because sometimes when the board's rotating, you kind of over-rotate it or you under-rotate it. The number one thing about learning this trick is always land your fingers down because if you commit to the landing, you're going to develop really good skill because even if you assume it's not gonna land, you might land it. And once you get the fundamentals of your board down, and once you really get used to it, you can kind of do kickflips with any board. Now, this board, this G16, is very easy to do kickflips. It's very easy, it makes it effortless. Sometimes when you don't even feel like it was a proper flick, it does a good full rotation. And I'm still getting used to it, but it's very, very good. I highly recommend these boards. And I also want to try out the G15s because I actually am very curious to see how those feel compared to this. Now, 
If you don't have a G16 board and you just have a basic teak tuning board, this was the first board I got with new grip tape, you can still do the kick flip. That only took three tries to do. Now, the kicks on this one are a little bit, a little bit lower, so you kind of do kick flips a little bit lower to the ground, which can also look a little bit better, more realistic. Now we also have a very light teak tuning board, very thin, and you can do it with that one. I'm actually surprised it got that one really quickly. Now, for gear, you know, I don't really think it matters. Like, this is, you know, Ilpil wheels, dynamic trucks, the special editions, and this is just some Royal Grip Tape. This is just a basic teak tuning board. This is the cheapest stuff you can get, the cheapest wheels, the cheapest bearings, the cheapest bushings, and maybe the grip tape is a little bit specialized, but it's very cheap. You can still do it with this board. You don't need the most expensive board to do kickflips. In fact, I'm going to do it with this Performance Series and this normal tech deck. Now the Performance Series. You can do it with all fingerboards. All right, guys, that's been my kickflip tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it helps you along with your fingerboarding journey. And I will see you in the next video.